Let's say you own a business and your product just happens to be the most sought after, most awesome product around. Matter of fact, it's better than all of the competition and everybody in America wants your product more than everybody else's, which has made your product the best selling on the market for 35 years in a row. And naturally we're talking about the Ford F-150. It offers 10 different packages with four different motors. A 3.7 liter six cylinder to get you 302 horsepower. A five liter V8 to get you 360 horsepower. A 6.2 V8 with 411 horsepower. Or even a 3.5 liter EcoBoost turbocharged motor that gives you 365 horsepower. Typically when people go truck shopping, they're gonna look at a Ford, a Chevy, a Dodge, and a Toyota. We'll find out here soon that the Toyota is the cheapest truck on the market and the least expensive truck on the market. We'll talk about some of those shortcuts in just a minute. Many great things about the F-150. For example, you can go 10,000 miles before oil changes. If we look up underneath the truck here, you'll also see the lower control arms. It's right down here. If you took the lower control arms off of all the other trucks and you compared them to the F-150, then you would totally see that there is a huge difference. The F-150 has a lot of best-in-class. For example, it has the best-in-class payload of 3,060 pounds. It has the best-in-class towing of 11,300 pounds. It has the best-in-class cargo volume in the bed of over 81 cubic feet and the best in class fuel mileage at a highway average of 23 miles to the gallon. The F-150 is the only truck that offers a standard six-speed automatic transmission in every one of their trucks. You get a base model, automatic, long bed, regular cab, two-wheel drive, just a cheapy truck, it's even going to have a six-speed automatic transmission in it. What that's going to do for you, it's almost like you have two low-end gears, like if you're going to pull something or in, you get onto the highway and you're going to have two highway gears to get you the best fuel mileage you can possibly get. Coming to the side of the truck, as we open the front door, the front door is a large door. One nice thing about even the back door is all four windows go all the way down. A lot of the trucks, they'll only come three quarters of the way down. Now you might say, Ron Boffman, tell me how in the world the F-150 can have the best in class payload of 3,060 pounds. Several different ways. The leaf springs underneath this truck are massive three inches wide by 63 and a half inches long. And they literally would stretch them out to get you the best ride as possible and to have the best payload as possible. Some other trucks, like the Dodge Ram, they even used coil springs back here. Come on, that's so like 1970s. You take a look at the Toyota truck. Ah, Toyota truck. Again, we talk about cheap, all right? The Toyota truck has leaf springs that are only 2.4 inches wide. Well, I don't know about you, but if you're gonna put something in the bed, you want as much beef underneath this truck as possible. Another nice thing that the Ford does is they mount their shocks outboard. Chevy, inboard. Ford, outboard of the, of the frame. How they do that are the cross members protrude outside of the frame. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are gonna build a deck and it just happens to be the exact dimensions of this bed. Which by the way, this bed has the best in class 
cargo box volume. Did you know you could pour over 600 gallons of water in this bed? At any rate, so you're gonna set your four corner posts as your deck. And then you're gonna put frame around the deck. And then every 12 inches on center or however you wanna build your deck, you're gonna hang a joist hanger on the inside of it. And then you're gonna put a joist on the inside of your deck frame. Can you imagine if you could take that joist and put it through your deck frame? So it's kind of like you'd have a joist hanger on the outside of your deck as well. Well, that's kind of what Ford does, is they take their cross members and they protrude through the frame. The cross members are welded on the inside and the outside of the frame. Toyota, they rivet. They get a rivet gun and ch -choo, ch -choo, ch -choo, ch -choo. they rivet their cross members to their C channel frame. The Ford's frame is a fully boxed frame. Can you imagine which one would be more sturdy? If you had a frame that was a C channel or if you had a frame that was fully boxed. See what I'm getting at? Also, what's standard on the F-150 is a trailer sway control. Let's say you're towing your 11,300 pound Bobcat and it starts to get all squirrely on you. Sometimes you don't know that. Let's say you're driving down a road and you blow past the semi, the road conditions aren't the best. Next thing you know, and your trailer is way over here on the side of you and you're checking it out in your rear view mirror. Not a good thing. So before it got to that point, if you have trailer brakes, it will break your trailer for you and reduce the engine power going to the truck to help keep control of your trailer without you even knowing about it. Let's say you wanted to load your truck up full of mulch or you wanted to see how many of your friends you could just stuff in the truck and you're driving down the road and you slam on the brakes. Ever get that nose dive? Even in your car right now. What this has is an electronic brake force distribution where it will help evenly distribute the power to the brakes to where your brakes will typically wear even. On the F-150's trailer tow package, it comes with a seven pin and a four pin wiring harness and a transmission cooler along with a class 3, class 4 hitch. Did you know that this truck will actually tow more than the old 7.3 liter turbo diesel will? That's strong. Let's come over here and I'll show you more. Let's say you go on vacation and you're looking for some extra room to put stuff. Come on, this truck's got so much room in it, it's not even funny. You can play board games back here. You could have a campfire back here and the room in this thing. I'm six foot four and I got plenty of room to walk through the truck with no problems. You got best in class towing. You got best in class payload. You got best in class cargo volume in the room. You got best in class fuel mileage. Man, 35 years in a row, number one F-150, best selling in America. You got a three year, 36,000 mile warranty that's bumper to bumper. You got a five year, 60,000 mile warning. You say, Ron Boffman, can you tell me more about this warranty? This, these, trucks, these trucks are getting built better and better all the time. This, this it covers like timing belts and water pumps, oil pumps, fuel pumps, oil pan, head gaskets, seals, rear main, engine, transmission, four wheel drive components. You also get five years or 60,000 miles of free roadside assistance, flat tire, lock your keys out of the truck, dead battery, run out of gas, you need a tow for any reason whatsoever. I don't care if you were out in an empty parking lot doing donuts in the snow and your truck runs up against a pole. Hey, Ford, I need a tow. Ford will come get you and help you out for free. Five years or 60,000 miles, whichever comes first. Do yourself a favor. Come into Matthews Ford. Ask for me. My name is Ron Boffman. 
be happy to show you everything and more that we talked about today about the new F-150 and you won't be disappointed.